like many of you, not even in the same place ending the year is when the year began. And I wanted to take this opportunity to let you all know that I appreciate your time and the and your participation in this journey on this ride, right? We've been rode hard and put up wet, as we used to say. And here we are the day before Christmas, and I hope that you are finding yourself amongst good friends and family, that you can celebrate this time as we look forward to what 2024 has for all of us. And I want to do this a little bit different. Uh, some of you, many of you, about 30,000 of you are brand new to the channel uh, during the course of this past year and, and probably don't even know what you missed. So we're going to do a little recap and I'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts and your comments down below as far as what was your favorite, what was what was the one that you hated, uh, what did you subscribe to, and if you came back to watch this because you're uh, w w whatever, what was the one that made you unsubscribe? Like, I don't care. Let's, uh, let's have a conversation down in the comments below. And you started to develop some sand deep up into the nether regions of your body and it's starting to create some pearls simple four count exercise that 60 percent of the time it works all the time at full cadence it looks as such one two three one one two three two one two three three one two three Four. Team, and that's all you need to get them pearls up out of your system. Come on. Let's see if we can't survive the isolated and the lost. Causes for eight. We want to avoid places that are wide open. Negative five degrees. where and how to find and source paper maps. Boom. The heaviness, the, the weight of the paper is grid lines on it in order to be able to use a protractor. And before we get any further team, don't forget that the number one sponsor of this channel was, is, and will always be. Warning. The tears of a commie. The emerging generation, they're looking for value and ethics. There's still a desire for something more. If you are not taking care of yourself, you will never truly be able to take care of those who are around you. Hey team, if you want to learn how to disappear, come follow me. Let's go. What do you think, bud? Is it nap time? <laughs> Difference between the Zippo matches and the typical stormproof matches that you get at the local big box store. More men now than ever before are suffering from an outbreak that scientists now call low M. And you and your compadres have already been exposed to this deadly and viral disease. But there is a cure for your family, for our nation. We need you to take this now as quickly as possible 
to reverse the damages before it's too late. The tears of Akami are a proprietary blend, a clinically proven set of virtues, values, and beliefs guaranteed to get you stoked and return balance to your masculinity. Discover more today at youtube.com slash stokermatic. About 500 meters. We're about a thousand meters. All right, so now we got the camera set up out in the woods. Team, it is starting to warm up, but when it comes to protect myself against chiggers and tick, they want to go up towards your groin. Hello, we need that stuff for some good action when we get home to add into your loadout. You could use chemicals, DEET, and other kinds of crap that's out there. Like, I love chemical warfare, don't get me wrong, try to attack us. So we need to find another way to repel the enemy's assault. It's a little unorthodox. Here's what it is. Pantyhose, man. Pantyhose. I know in today's age with everybody doesn't even know what the hell who the hell they are looked at is that guy full protection proven and groin right it's full protection from the waist all the way down to your stinking feet 100 percent effective no i'm not going to tell you how to put these things on your body you can figure that out all on your own you stay out there you keep grinding and you stay stoked Down. Stay. Break. Good boy. Good boy. Break. Go find the ball. Go find your ball. He does a good boy. Oh, that's such a good boy. He's tuckered. But he still wants to play. Is that my good boy? Hmm? Is that my good boy? There are a variety of scenarios where you may find the need or want to employ stealth camping techniques. In this video, that's exactly what we're going to focus on with an emphasis on food, fire, water, and shelter. Let's get after it. And then I'll work my way back. 400 meters is going to put you beyond eyesight and it's all wet. You do want some vegetation. A 10 by 10 
that maintains a much lower profile. That low profile ridge line setup prepares some food. You could use an old school canteen. You could use something like the Grail. Maybe put in a built in filter, micro terrain features. There are a variety of options that you have at your disposal. Create a field expedient method. From that MSR, again, we don't want to go back the way that we came from. And don't forget, every good mother loves it when you drink oh, the tears yeah. of a kind. Team, in this video, we're going to look at planning considerations in the event of an SHTF scenario with an emphasis on area and route reconnaissance. Now, there are a variety of factors to consider when planning on how to get home. You can think about mission variables, operational variables, A scope, a COCA and so much more that I've outlined in my SHTF field manual. In this video, I wanna actually work through some of this process with you as I prepare for to Compton Fallen. <laughs> That's Tacoma, by the way, uh, but it may as well be the, the Northwest Compton. If I was an adversary, where would I wanna set up either a checkpoint a uh, hasty ambush. You know, thinking about the considerations that re as it relates to freeways, the bridges, the buildings, the historical crime data, and most likely courses of action that the local populace may take in an SHTF scenario. People that you don't know if they are a threat. This is the wrong idea. It's the wrong setup. How much of a threat can others perceive you to be? Walk around anywhere you want. Nobody has any idea and they don't need to know your business until it's time to know your business. Folks out there, there who filled up my flask today, which if you didn't know is in fact filled with the tears of a commie. So, you know, it's, it's ironic, but I appreciate all the tears. Challenge issued for you. I'm going to give you some clues, right? I'm not going to leave you helpless. One of them is going to lead you straight to me. And so all you got to do is send me that email with your guests. Well, challenge issued here, bud. Hey team, man, I am super pumped up and stoked to see you. I'm going to issue a challenge. Why? Because why not? Reason number one uh, is to help celebrate hitting 50,000 subscribers. Can you determine my location, where I'm standing right now? If you can determine where I'm at down to a 10 digit grid coordinate, I'm gonna send you this shirt. I'm gonna send you the Stoke swag pack. I'm gonna send you a flask, not filled with the tears of a commie. You gotta provide your own. All right, how, how does that sound? I don't know how that sounds, but that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna roll with and do. Whatever you are attempting to plan for. Yeah, you can see the hilltop is a troubled area right now in terms of crime. Right on one four nine two. An EMP weapon. Oh, who's that? Right, I think ultimately there's there's four things that we have to do, and that's to plan, prepare, execute, and assess. And before you actually execute, and, it, and it's real, you need to get out and execute your rehearsals so that you can work through and refine your plans, you can prove your assumptions as being actionable, or if you need to make modifications to it. But if all you do is sit on the couch and you think about it in your head, you will never be prepared. Whatever it is, work through them before you need to. Team, it has been a year evaluation in the process and now we're getting ready to put these things to the test. So we have Kevlar cordage against bank line against mil spec 550 cord. Riggs, come. Team, you know if you try to go into any surplus store or try to search online, it can become super easy to become overwhelmed just how much kit there is out there. It's a full plethora. But in this video, I wanna give you one piece of gear that you may wanna add into your kit bag because it is time tested and grunt freaking approved. Let's get after it. It's so extremely detrimental to your preparations and you need to start to begin to account for this now but in an shtf moment what you're gonna you're not going to find this first world western mindset you look at all the clips that are coming out from the city and all these hoodlums that are doing the damn stupidest things that you could imagine that that may seem to counter what i'm suggesting here but really it's reflecting the exact thing that you need to be ready for Give me some tough 
because team it is not a matter of if it is a matter of when now if you happen to be a larper and you didn't like the content of this message team my fault you're bad if you did enjoy it you already know what to do because it's going to fill my flask from everybody freaking crying rivers of tears oh Mm, that is so freaking good. Team, I appreciate you guys. Until then, you stay out there, you keep grinding, and you stay stoked. Some of you have never experienced a pinky in your star chamber. And I'm talking three joints deep, bent and articulated, and caressing the inside of your rim. And it shows. <clears throat> you see, the, the real crux of it is, is not so much that the mission drives the gear, but that your gear drives your mission. If you get it twisted, and you think I'm going to go conduct this mission, therefore I only need X, Y, and Z items to take care of that. And then when Murphy comes knocking, you're going to find yourself shit out of luck. Because your best plan is only good up until the first contact. Does that make sense? Or am I the one smoking crack? Merchandising, merchandising, where the real money from the movie is made. Space Falls the t-shirt. Space Falls the coloring book. Space Falls the lunchbox. Space balls the breakfast cereal. Space balls the flamethrower. <laughs> that kids love this one. Last but not least, space balls the dog. Me. You're fired. Get out of here. Yeah, I've had a ton of questions about this pack that's on my back and it sounds like Riggs does as well. Kind of a Frankenstein pack. I have a tactical tailor frame and shoulder straps, right? Decent web belt is gonna do way gooder than what came on this thing stock. I pulled off the vertical straps. Looking at the very top of the pack, uh, individual first aid kit, all of my ridge line equipment. Problem is, as far as I can tell, that A, no man is an island, and B, history has proven to us that if you go after it alone, you're not going to make it. And if you're not building community now, it's going to be too late then. Well, it looks like we'll be moving it 190. And then I'm going to preset my compass by rotating the bezel ring until that tritium marker is in line with the tritium marker on my north seeking arrow. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 180 degrees since 190 is more and I'm going to figure out what that azimuth is and that's 10 degrees and that's my back azimuth. Now we're going to go ahead and step it off, keep a track of our distance and then we'll see you down there. Come on. One, two, All right, so we made it out our prescribed 100 meters. So now that I'm here, we need to figure out how we're going to get back. So we moved out at 190 meters. We know that our reverse azimuth is 10. If I had my azimuth at 190 degrees, maybe I'm moving out at night, limited visibility. Maybe it's a tactical situation and I can't use white light and I don't even want to use red light. I think we're gonna see if we can take about half of a cubic foot of wood this piece right here see if we can't turn it into about at least six fires Pump those numbers out those are rookie numbers but what if i told you it was over 30. no way so far so good this is a quick friendly reminder if you didn't know every time that you like subscribe leave a comment all that good stuff Fills my flash with the tears of Akami, and I appreciate you guys.
right? And that's just a couple layers of vegetation, 15 paces out. Team, you know there's a secret, not so secret military survival trick I learned years ago. And as I'm sitting out here, getting ready to get some coffee going with all the bugs that are out, it's that time of year and it's that time of day. Thought I'd share it with you, so let's get this thing going. But I can tell you that I'm gonna like it because it's pretty stinking awesome. So we'll dive into this thing again, you can see. Team, as far as I can tell, most people approach self-reliance for any kind of scenario, whether it's on, on a scale of zero to 10, we approach these things through a particular lens, which is all well and good. We're, we try to stand ready for that first wave of death, if you will. Yeah, today is a special day in the life of Stoker. After a total of 21 years in the United States military from 1995 to 2003, and then from 2010 to today, I've served in the United States military, in both the Marine Corps and the Army. Look at that. Look at that. Now, I'm a free and clear civilian. And one of those things is also the SHTF field manual. This one, uh, just released a couple weeks ago on Amazon, is available in both hardback and softback. And so what this SHTF field manual does is it takes mission planning and operational variables and mission variables and how to patrol and how to conduct you know security operations how to track and counter track how to do evasive operations and it puts it in to some language that you can go out and take out and apply so it, it takes all of these all of the all of the theory and it puts it into a scenario so you can see how it works out in a practical way right does that make sense how can you become a more effective marksman in this video i'm going to give you some principles to do just that near as i can tell most men associate danger or being dangerous with having an ar-15 and a plethora of ammunition take a hard honest look at ourselves would we have really done anything different? If we really want to sharpen ourselves, then we have to live dangerously. And doing that is living with integrity. If you're a crayon eater, this video may not be for you. First one is a headlamp. Well, that doesn't start with a C. Uh, next up is some cordage, but this is obviously not in mind when we talk about cordage. Compass, being able to navigate some terrain uh, is a good thing. Of course, you may be missing a map. Is the old two cord. If you have a cloth bandana and you use this to filter your water, do you want to put that nasty bandana on an open wound to dress it? To make that experience a little less sucky, then how about having some freaking rations as part of your kit? But you probably want a boomstick. Hey team, welcome back to the channel. As always, I'm stoked to see you, man. I'm super stoked and humbled to have Tom from Prepared Pathfinder here with me. Now, this part will be cut because I have yeah. no idea what I'm saying. <laughs> super stoked to have these two warriors with me. <clears throat> Hips, back, we're paying for it now. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, the hypervigilance, that, that wears you down you get used to wearing the gear. Enemy look different, right? right. No matter what, what video you watch on YouTube, you're gonna see dudes, you know, head to toe, fucking, you know, high cut Kevlar helmets with fucking sound amplifying fucking ear pro and all these other crazy bells and whistles on their Kevlar. I wonder sometimes like, have these guys actually trained for days and weeks on end in their gear? And my gut says, my intuition says probably not. And it's easy to get through a range day or two and be okay, but to actually conduct sustained operations that way, that's when you start to notice aches and pains and all. All that anybody's ever going to take from what I just said is, oh, Brent 0331 says, never wear ear pro. <laughs> <laughs> Until then, you get out there, you keep grinding, you stay stoked. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> stay right. stoked, bitches. <laughs> Can I set a digital night vision devices? Do they have a place? in the self-reliant lifestyle, in the prepared mindset, in a tactical mindset. Cooler weather, and it reminds me that winter is 
coming and depending on where you're at it is here especially depending on what time this video finds its way to you and there is a huge threat to maintaining and sustaining tactical operations in cold weather climates that nobody thinks about nobody talks about it. and I want to give that to you uh, here in this video. I also want to let you know right up front that I kind of partnered with WinterWarfare.com, the only United States veteran owned and operated company whose sole purpose in life is to provide high quality tactical winter gear. And so make sure that you go check them out. And if you do, tell Morgan to stay stoked. So there is this key threat. I think it's the number one threat, again, because nobody talks about it. And I want to tell you a story on the back end, uh, how I saw this firsthand come to fruition by somebody who didn't bear this in mind. Cold weather, so we think, hey man, I gotta stay warm, right? You it? I gotta, I gotta do everything I can to, to keep my core temp up, or else I'm gonna die, freezing cold. And while that is not untrue, the second threat that is there. So I gotta make sure he's alive. So I smack him in the face and I smack him in the face. I'm like, Vessels, are you all right, man? And Doc takes his thermometer and pops it right on up in there. And I knew that this young man was completely out of it because as he was violated, he didn't wince a bit, right? Not one bit. At the end of the day, if there was only one thing that I could power in a grid down scenario. Team, I appreciate you guys, man. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, this little experiment. Regardless of uh, whatever, man, I hope that you have a great Christmas. Happy New Year. And we'll see you on the other side. Until then, you stay out there. You keep grinding. And you stay stoked. Team, if you want to master your craft and develop your tactical virtue, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so that you can stay up to date on future content. Consider becoming a channel member. It's going to give you exclusive access to content not available to anybody else. I appreciate you guys. Until then, you stay out there, you keep grinding, and you stay stoked.